What's up, everyone? Hi, everyone. I want to take this chance to remind you to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Talking to your friends and family about Easy Does It helps us reach new listeners who may enjoy the show as much as you do. And as you know, we recently launched our crowdfunding campaign to keep the show going, but this is entirely optional. Those who are willing and capable can transfer however much into the bank account in the description box below. And as usual, I want to thank you for your incredible support and hope you enjoy the show. Okay, Hadi aka Fasting Bro, welcome to Is That It? Ah, oh, thank you so much for... <laughs> are we rolling? Yes, thank you so much for inviting me. It's such an honor. I've done content for as long as I can remember, but dapat dikira pakai jari berapa orang melagau lah. So, oh, really? it's usually like, like I have a podcast, not yeah. to self-plug or anything, mm. but usually it's me on that side yeah. of the, yeah. you know, but very rare that I'm on the other side. So, this is really like when you... Another excited like... Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Mini I mean, it only though. makes sense for me to invite other. I mean, content creator in general, right? So there's subdivisions. Whether you're a podcast host or whether influencer mm. or like, macam simply just doing YouTube or TikTok, whatever. Like, I, I mean, it's it's a open space for mm. anyone. And but I really do appreciate you saying yes. Yeah, <laughs> macam aku macam di bacanya kena DM ku niya. <laughs> Like mm, I do want really to yang sejat. <laughs> yeah, oh, fasting bro. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, let's it was just wait. Lambat lah, pelang. Pandang <laughs> membaca lambat lah selalu. Yeah, yeah. Like, I understand that because yeah. I do that too sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I I thank you again for for being here. Mm. Um, to be you know, mana nya malam tu pelangkan di reply like. Late night, but I'm like, did you appropriate now? Sekarang macam lain kerja, so I waited. Oh my god! I waited the morning of like. No, it's okay. You'll make me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get late night te- late night text messages, so you know, if you text me, me too, late at I'm night, like... I will remember. <laughs> I want to get down to it. All right. Yeah, I want to get to know you mm-hmm. and how you started. So how I found out about you is because I think you found like um. For me, in my in my like reality, like uh, you found fame through being a dart driver who re- who makes content interviewing his passengers. Is that yes, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So before we get into fame, that, huh? wow. <laughs> no, but it's true though. Like you put your name on the map mm-hmm. because of that. Yeah. And it was really interesting content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But before that, have you always been a content creator? Ataupun what did you do before you became a dart driver filming content? Okay. Um. Back in high school, I started out as someone who likes photography. Although okay. I was never, I'm to this day, I'm still a never good. Anu lah. You're not, you're a, not good, a professional. Yeah. Though. Okay. Like even though kalau kena suruh ambil telepon, uh, gambar, okay. pakai telepon atau, yeah. you know what I would do? I just. Kamu pilih cara ngah. Oh, you're that type. Yeah, I'm that you're type. Because that... <laughs> I'm that annoying lah. I mean, I try not to be, but if it's like close friends, I'm just. Yeah. Kamu yeah. pilih cara ngah. Yeah. 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 So. By that, at the standard, orang pun macam oh, jangan terisuruh ya ni lagi the gambar. So yes, I will. I've never been a good photographer up to this day. Yeah. So that was in high school. Okay. I think the interest of uh, making video, a uh, movie, lah. Tuh kalau dulu, uh, one of my favorite creator, Kesi Nystad, calls yes. movie a uh, video ni as a movie. Yeah. 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 So I think that started later lah in my life mm. when I. I think yeah. Casey nice that he was like yeah yeah he was, he was the OG was, like vlogger yeah. like macam day in his life people got into filmmaking people got into vlogging because yes. of him yeah he managed yeah. to make his day his simple day very mm-hmm. interesting by the way he films it yeah the way it's he an films art it. art it's art to him lah yeah yeah okay so yeah. that's how you got inspired got inspired mm. through that and then like of course lah at the time like you know apa ke dapat ku buat lah yeah. you know i can't i can't do that yeah ani apa ni were you still in high school or after um, high school sudah after i think was a uh 2015 i think okay. 2014 2015 i yeah. started looking to like video yeah. i'm like i have this passion for art mm. but i don't know which path uh, i'm going yeah. you know yeah so 2014, 2015, I started looking into like what kind of uh, videos that I could make lah. Mm, mm, mm. As long as it's video, I said, yeah. it's cool. So when you were, when you wanted to do video too, it's like not to make money. It no. was just because you really enjoyed one no, thing. No, yeah. Oh. After this day, I 
still don't, I don't I don't think I make a good money. Oh. Yeah. There's no yeah, cuz uh, I've been blessed. I guess I've been blessed okay. that I could take care of my team mm-hmm. using the other source lah. Other source of income from other business lah. So ah. that one I, I think I'm, I'm blessed. Okay. So I don't okay. really put pressure on on my content creation side yeah. to be making money, money lah. Okay. Yeah, so memang dah dah to make money lah. I know that's a cliche thing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I started, I started. But really? <laughs> like, for me, mana mana dah dah lah. Because uh, at the time, like, we don't know if anything can be monetized in Brunei. Yes, right? true. Yeah, so um, you're going to laugh at me for this because uh, my last few guys ada yang ketawa. Uh-huh. So um at the time I was actually I was actually fit at the time I was okay. I, just, <laughs> fit? Yeah. Yeah. So I was actually fit at the time so I was into fitness I was uh, I'm still involved with powerlifting community right now That yeah cuz I saw you in the recent power yeah, lifting powerlifting event. Yeah, yeah okay yeah. yeah I was going to ask you like why were you there <laughs> Yeah yeah so we can get into that later okay, if okay. But, but yeah I I've, I've always been uh involved lah, with the with the fitness but at the time I was really fit. So okay. I'm like, what can I do? Huh? Mm-hmm. So I made uh, weight loss tips videos. Oh. Yeah. So I I uh, I borrowed yeah. my mother-in-law punya apa tu yang backdrop untuk projector yang putih ata. Uh-huh. Use that as a backdrop. I film in my living room around my father-in-law <laughs> with a GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. So I started making, uh, f- I call it Portland videos lah. Oh my God. To this day, you, it's still accessible. Oh, I, masih ada on your channel? Okay. Masih ada. It's okay. actually in a segment though. Uh-huh. I put it like, I, I put it, yeah. Wow. It's actually added to a few. How long ago was this? 2015. Oh my God. Yeah. So 2015, I, I said like, I want to share this because at the time I actually lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. So before that, were you andang brisi and then you lost weight? Andang Is that brisi. why you oh. like? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the. Okay. The panic. The other way. Okay. We get it. We get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So and then you lo- lost weight because you started working out. Um. Bukan juga. I think okay. working out is a supplement to okay. all the weight loss at all. But I uh-huh. think uh, at the time I thought like you know I needed to make change. Maybe health oh. was the concern as well. Yeah. So I'm like okay lah, just you know just do something. And then I actually one of the things that I actually n- never shared mm-hmm. was that masa I first lost weight. Nobody knew I was losing weight because I was still wearing my ba- baju basar. Oh. So it was only the time when my brother gave me his baju. Like bangnya, uh, baju kuni damit sen untuk kuni. Because we kind of like switch. Yeah, yeah. Punya body itu. Oh, wow. So nak yeah, coba yang pakai baju ni nya. So when I started putting on this shirt, I'm like everyone noticed. Yeah, I'm like even myself when I look at the mirror, like oh, damn. Actually, yeah, because I think because you know when you lose weight that. F- I lost weight quite fast. Yeah, like yeah. maybe in three months, I lost like 30 kilo. Or 20 no kilo. way. So when you do that, you have this excess uh, yes, skin. Yes, so yes, I yeah. view that as fat bar. So uh, much I'm, I never realized, you know, yeah. I'm actually losing weight until I put on the small budget. Oh, wow. Yeah. I remember at the time, at that time, I even went up till XXS. Yeah, I was like in the mid 60s in weight. In mid 60 yeah X, so X, 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 X. Macam like kan- kanak punya. i know it was like that kurus lah yeah, yeah. yeah okay. so that's why i made that video just to share my journey yeah, lah yeah, yeah. but at that time you know but the, do you feel like you lost that weight at all healthy i mm, that's debatable i guess <laughs> <laughs> that's debatable because okay. you know when you lose weight your body, your body actually doesn't want you to lose weight. Okay. So every, okay, so macam let's say lah you normally you makan nasi katok 3 lah sehari. Yes. Like normally lah. Yeah. If the next day you only eat two nasi katok, okay. your body actually goes into survival mode. Okay. Because it's trying to survive. It it doesn't want to lose weight. Mm, mm. So by doing certain things, mm. you actually force the body to actually accept that, you know, oh, you're going to get two nasi katok. At, at that point, for me, it was bukan lagi two nasi katok kali lah. Maybe like no nasi katok at all. Okay. Or like maybe just the chicken, no nasi, macam ah, okay. So you oh, force, yeah, yeah, you force the body to think that that is your survival now. Mm. So if you ask me on uh, I know on a uh, like uh, science side maybe it's not healthy okay we have a science guy in the crew here maybe we can ask him later yeah <laughs> but I don't think it's healthy but um you kind of just force the body to mm-hmm. 
think it's healthy. Okay. Yeah. So, I think what's more important is what you do after you lose the weight. Itulah. Whether mm-hmm. you still go into that um, chronic weight loss yeah, or yeah, yeah. you try to maintain a healthy lifestyle lah, mm. to balance it out balik. Yeah. Yeah. So, I never got that. Anulah. I don't think I, I ever did because, you know, I'm also active in the powerlifting. Apa kan, mm-hmm. So, we do have some diet. Apa kan, so, yeah, yeah. I never really got into... Uh, maintaining a healthy yeah. uh, balance of my diet mm-hmm. but yeah to, to answer your question I don't think it was healthy lah. Okay. but like it. what did you feel okay so you men- mentioned the reason why you wanted to lose weight was also could be health concerns yeah. but what was the biggest motivation for you to actually take that drastic route because uh, sometimes people <laughs> much I'm like it's not, okay like weight loss journey is not easy Okay, even me, I consider my I mean, body average. I'm the living proof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, so <laughs> what was your motivation <clears throat> for you to really wanted to like really make a change, whether it was good or healthy or not? Uh, like, what was okay. the motivation? Um, I guess health because okay. uh, my genetic, you know, my dad, like, and my mom. Unfortunately, they both passed away. And at that time, memang dorang ada like this underlying issue lah. Like yeah, my yeah. dad had diabetic, my mom had um, uh, uh, kidney. Mm. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should do this yeah. to for my future yes. self lah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So up to this day, memang if I'm starting to think about jangan tah like mak like you know get into fitness, but mm. just eating healthy. That's my motivation lah. Like okay, I need to do this because of you know my genetic. Yeah, yeah. It's not great, mm. yeah. So yes, I think the main, the biggest motivator is definitely Atuna. the health. The oh, health. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. By no, 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 worries. Yeah. no worries. Yeah. Okay. So the biggest motivator, of course, the health, mm. and then the second one, maybe you just want to look good. <laughs> It that's the bonus, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's you the bonus. If you good. happen to be hap- healthy and fit, yeah, you automatically just look like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By society standard, you look good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so what was the biggest attribute to you losing weight? Was it the workout or was it the diet? This yeah. is like really highly debatable, there. Um, or you feel like it's a good balance of both? Nah, it's the diet. It's the diet. Yeah. Okay. It's the diet. It's, it's diet. always the diet. <laughs> Perfect. The The workout mm. it just tones your body. Okay. Like it helps you. Sh- it's help. It helps tones shape. Shape. So if you lose, if you don't do the workout, mm. you still lose weight. Mm. But you're gonna look like shit lah in mm. terms of like skin. You, you oh. it's, it's gonna be a lot of sagging. Okay. Kalau you do workout, mm. maybe the sagging would be around the waist area saja. Uh. Tapi if you do, if you don't do workout at all, you mm. can see skin sagging here, like arah tangan apa. You don't want that, oh. right? Kalau ada parut, dapat lagi di tapo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people that do do that. Uh, I have a, no, no, no. This is true. Like I'm a, I have a friend who like he showed me like bro, because he didn't like you know he uh, that that guy he didn't work out a lot lah. But uh, he okay. did do some workout just to tone some other parts yeah, of yeah, your yeah. body lah. Uh, so it helps with tightening skin. Mm, mm, mm. Of course, it's not necessary. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you want to look somewhat good. Mm. And be accredited for your weight loss. Atau uh. do some, you know, any basic workout pun mm. okay lah. So basically, during that whole journey, you started making videos. Yeah. About weight loss. About weight loss. Okay, how long did that last? And um, a few months only. Ah. <laughs> a few months only. <laughs> okay. Cause, yeah, because I never got traction. You know, YouTube is. I I think you you as a YouTuber, a new you, yeah. new YouTuber, mm. you would. Actually, can you can find you can find this relatable? Yeah, it's not easy to to stamp your ground around YouTube. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's not. I, that's why I said you're doing like in in our prior conversation, yeah. our text, and I said you're doing well okay. because mm. you are one of those people who got traction early on. Yeah, for me lah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. mostly YouTubers who try YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, aspiring YouTubers who mm. tries YouTube ah. One one to two weeks. They're like ah, oh, just just move to other platform yeah, lah. They get this mo- demotivated, demotivated yeah. because other platforms now are very generous. Yes, especially TikTok. You mm. put on video, boom, 100 mm. views minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Kalau YouTube, you're lucky to even get one view. Yeah, yeah. Apart from bukan yourself lah yang memview ah tu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, But oh. if I view my own video, do, do they count that as well? Inda kan? In my head, usually I don't think they, it's fair for them to count that. But I don't know actually. Um, I don't know if you know. If you use your own account, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. But if you use 
As, and incognito yeah. tab, oh, maybe it counts. Okay, okay. You know, you mentioned like macam how it, how difficult it is or challenging it is for someone to start on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. But like, uh, and you said like macam I I'm one of the like macam few ones who managed to do it. Yeah, but you're like, the one percent. Yeah, I want. But then again, like if you actually okay, so macam this podcast is not the first macam my. This is not the first. Yeah, I know. Yeah, try yeah that I did. Them, yeah, checked, like checked macam, I actually video. did try dulu juga. I think mm. similar to you. Mm -hmm. But macam also when you said like macam oh I got this demotivated, demotivated. because like macam oh the views aren't as much. Even though I enjoyed making the process mm -hmm. like documenting my life apa, mm -hmm. but like at some point it's like okay like my other lives took over and like mm -hmm. I just couldn't maintain or sustain yeah. recording lagi. But like yeah, I think if anyone wants to start. Uh, creating content on YouTube, mm -hmm. I think don't be fixated on trying one thing. Mm -hmm. Like try different other things. Mm -hmm. So, which I started from vlogging, and mm -hmm. then I even tried reviewing, mm -hmm. and then I tried like you tried review. I tried review, uh, oh, unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. Yeah, I tried unboxing, but sebuting itu belum saja. Yeah, that's why I couldn't <laughs> yeah. find that video. And then lepas itu apa lagi tu? Ah? And then yeah, and then I started doing solo podcast. Mm -hmm. Also, atu that was the I feel like my lowest moment on YouTube because like I wasn't getting any views. Yeah, like less than only two digits lah. Mm. Yeah, but then again yeah, and then I thankfully I found this, mm -hmm. and then alhamdulillah, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Yeah, so yeah. macam maybe okay, maybe this is it. So mm -hmm. we'll we'll see where it goes from here, yeah. right? But yeah, it does. I do feel the pressure now mm -hmm. because like yeah, okay, I can imagine. Right? Like what <laughs> shit? What if it doesn't yeah. do what well? If, what if we fucks up a, a, like a guess? A, yeah. I mean, like I think your views now they want your like okay, who's gonna hit, who's, who's gonna bring this week? Yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. if we mess up one guess that people don't like? Then oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So much. I also like much. I uh, feel like it's so easy for people to pigeonhole you. Yeah. Just because that one episode on one guest did so well, people yep. are gonna think that's. All the podcasts are yeah. gonna be about. Yeah. But the hell is like more broader than that. Yeah. But yeah, but I, I trust much I keep engaging with my listeners. I keep mm -hmm. them like updated. Hopefully they'll continue to keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. So much I think we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I think for you, uh, because I've been with I've been in YouTube for so long to know the pattern. Mm. There are two things that you did, right? Yeah. Oh. One is you're actually creating content that people want to see. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you actually that a... <laughs> no, 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 no. You actually creating content that people wants to see. Satu, okay, yeah. dua, um, YouTube now more than ever is actually bringing up the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We have an actual tab now for podcasts. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yes. so people it's pushing out. It's pushing podcasts. out podcasts. So mm. if you categorize your video now as podcast yeah. i think you will get an extra boost lah okay. but for me the first one at all you actually creating content that people wants to see okay okay yeah mm. so be, not i mean to give yourself some credit jo i think people know you from you know from the film world so much like, ah you know oh, but the film world is very small though i feel like people who know me only because much like, like crew lah i don't think i'm as well known as you think I am? Mm, okay. Yeah, I honestly. I'm always listening. You know, I've heard, yeah, because heard you're in the industry. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, like, if we take our like bigger picture, mm. like, my chum, I feel like Japan sees it. <laughs> you know. But yeah, I think okay. that's also one of the we discussed about this. I think that's why because not a lot of people know me. People are curious. Jo, like Japan, it's also talk about some Serrano, also talk about some CZ, and then now also talk about some thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. who is he? <laughs> who does he yeah. think he is? Yeah. You know? Funny thing about that, Jo, like you know, we've always crossed paths in our yeah, industry, I've seen you, yeah. but we never yeah. sat down. Never. Yeah. So can I, I remember you on a BCF? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I can I ask you like why? What? Why we never like sat down? Sat down. I just think that because why that I don't... intimidated ka? In that, in that, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I feel very comfortable with you now. Okay. But for me, I think it's just me. I don't approach people up until today's podcast. But I feel like, macam, I have to approach people now. Uh. But previously, like, macam, I only, I mind my own business. Mm -hmm. I stick uh, to your own, to my own, whoever I know. I see. Like, macam, I think people, my <clears throat> my close friends know that I'm actually, macam. Uh, I keep saying introvert, which is true. I am introvert. I am a bit shy. <sighs> introvert too. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Then, nah. Yeah. So you should understand why like yeah. other yeah. people don't approach other people. Yeah. But then again, also I do have to say much. Like, a lot of people think I'm snobby, mm -hmm. which I'm slowly accepting. I don't care if people think I'm snobby. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, I can't control what people think. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to explain myself to people every single time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tapi like, um, 
I I do like macam I'm not gonna say like I've never heard of you apa, mm. but I I have yeah 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 tu tu macam it's not just you that's why I'm asking because mm. uh, we've seen people in my fitness community apa yeah very friendly with everyone uh huh except me yeah ka. yeah so I'm like is it me yeah. like you know so that's yeah, why yeah, yeah. when I finally uh, connect with that people mm. although connect is actually a bad word uh, in some countries uh, the way they said connect oh, oh yeah oh. yeah <laughs> um yeah la, so, so when i actually connect. yeah when i say connect with yeah. you i would ask la, like is it me uh, mostly uh, memang la yeah, yeah, cakap yeah. Indah, but mm. really you know yeah. like but, no, but i think when you mention introvert yeah uh, no i get it yeah, yeah. right no i get it yeah because like macam also if i want to approach you pun like at that time what do i have to even wanna yeah yeah like there was no there was no crossing of like interest mm-hmm. you know like i would i don't have a reason basically yeah to i know to, I understand, yeah. to approach you yeah. yeah but i'm glad that this gave an, an opportunity yeah i know like yeah the, the podcast yeah oh we should talk about the podcast scene. we should yeah. yeah but first yeah before we jump to that okay. um <laughs> before we not literally jump but before we jump conversations mm-hmm. to that let's go back to when you were after you made videos um about fitness, fitness. journey what happened after that oh, this is where it gets interesting Whoa. i actually became casey nice that Okay. 200 daily vlogs 200 plus daily vlogs what do you mean by that i did the whole kiss you nice that thing wait he posted 200 videos one day no 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 no, no. Oh. i did the 200 daily vlogs in a day oh, in a row so basically for 200 days ka, yep. you did vlogs every single day every single day. oh my god yeah. and then and that was like a year later lah yeah, 2016 yeah, yeah. 2017 or two at years at this later. point did you already have a day job what were you doing Um okay I've been fortunate enough lah cuz after I dropped out of school okay. uh, a few months later my my father-in-law was actually was also my boss like uh, come work for the company I need someone here okay. you know also oh, a family company yeah so okay. I need someone here to you know to be my eyes yeah 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 so I don't I hope people don't see that as a negative but yeah kalau family business they mm. usually need someone to like oversee everything lah yeah 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 cuz uh yeah so very fortunate lah yeah, even yeah. when I um I had a time where I just quit for six months mm-hmm. and then when I wa- when I told him I wanted to come no I didn't tell him because I I be the chicken guy lah uh, I told my wife yeah. to ask him if I could come back oh. and they were so happy to accept, to accept me yeah, back yeah. lah why did yeah. you leave for that six months oh uh, you know midlife crisis you could say like <laughs> I want to try new things mm-hmm. you know I want to you know just cuma tu lah saja I think at that point in life you just want to experiment with other things yeah but then I realized again Like no matter what I do in the, this current job, yeah. I will always be accepted here. Yeah. So which is why lah, when I got into video, got into uh, other things that I do now, mm. he's always okay with it lah. As long as I do the job, that's yang amazing. di sana lah. Yeah. So atu, I think that's my main risk lah. Shout out. Yeah, Very shout out long. to my father-in-law. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for yeah. supporting fasting, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to play Arjun. Don't I know my son is going. I hope I'm going to. Finally. <laughs> okay. Also, you've already so ever you're still in, working. Yeah. For the, okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So that's basically working. your day job where you earn as a living, lah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that yeah. So. So I started to... that even before my 24, 2015 Portland video, lah. Mm. Memang. Yeah, I think so. I think masa tu sudah start lah. Yeah. Kerja sana. Mm. and then that's what made it easy for me to like no pressure even though this is not making any money mm. but even mm. dari awal like I said tadi mm. there's no uh, there was no intention at all to make money I know that's a cliche thing to yeah, say yeah, yeah, for yeah. every creator but oh. there was no pressure there was no intention mm. at all to make money and then going back to the vlogging and to, I think 2016 or 2017 definitely a year s- at least a town later lah I, i got into daily vlogging okay. just like our our kissy nice yeah. and i think that's where i learned the ropes like okay. you know how to edit how to tell yeah. a story how yeah. to basically what i do now what i what i put out the, the content that i put out now semua belajar dari sana lah it's a result of that yeah, it's a, yeah. Wow. it's a indirect indirect result of that mm. yeah so even up to this day i still go to Like Casey and I start trying to see, like, you know, apa, what's the diff, you know, even though he has the proper about content now, mm-hmm. but I still try to learn from him, yeah. lah. Yeah. So basically, you said your intention to make content was not to make money, right? Yeah. No, so never. when you do that out of passion, when you look back at your 200 videos, ato, what what were you hoping to achieve, if not monetary? Um, I guess um, 
just being able i think i know video i know video is my passion mm. but how do i make it second nature mm. so that's 200 videos i thought mm-hmm. if i want to be like ah uh, just pu- just put out content yeah, yeah yeah i think that's a that's my training for like okay do video as yeah. second nature Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Did you remember back then how many subscribers you had? Was there a jump in viewership um, or a subscriber count? Of course, because time I too jua I started getting into like uh, the politician community that would always support. They was uh-huh. always watch my video because yeah. I always say so something, nice. yeah, I was always, always say something to about them mm-hmm. in the video. Mm-hmm. So at that point maybe I jump from like two digits to three digits, three digits like 100 oh. 100 views at is kind of like I'm happy. If it's yeah. like yeah. 100, I'm happy. Same, I remember that feeling. Yeah, like 100, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, well to like uh like maybe 20 30 10 of them probably me. Oh. Yeah, so now 100 I'm like I'm happy. Yeah. I don't I don't masa 100 itu the pile he like video sendiri lah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when it, that's when it stopped. Yep. Yeah. We yeah. made it. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. Um yeah, so if you want to talk about scale yeah, masa buat 200 vlogs satu I think that's when I start three digit uh, views lah. Mm. I know for some you know TikTokers right now what three digits like we're aiming for six digits now. But trust me guys, the the beginning was never that easy for the OG creators yeah. we like you mentioned like yeah, yeah. three digits are you happy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. kalau ara ig wa three digits apa ni you know i know it's so looked down on yeah tiktok even yes. like what is this you know <laughs> yeah cuz i recently spoke to hakim the the french guy oh yeah it's like uh, he doesn't get excited if it's six figures now i'm like what you know like maybe i said maybe la, the the standard is just that yeah, high yeah, yeah, now yeah. Mm. so it's okay mm. we, we are always going to evolve mm. but it, the, the beginning was never that you know mm. uh, apa tu that cerah easy, la, yeah. Yeah, easy yeah, la, yeah. Yeah. yeah easy easy <laughs> is that hawaiian name is is that is is easy is your your rumah name or like you people um, call you My real name is Iskandar, tapi um, dulu I think for shortcut people just called me Izzy. Mm. Yeah, um, I can't remember who started it, but uh. people just started calling me Izzy. Yeah, thing. which is good. Like you make it easy for you. Yeah, it's a do'a. Right? Dulu my tagline is "Take it easy." Uh. <laughs> I wanted to put it in a shirt even, but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But um, okay. So after the 200 videos, and then um, what happened after that? Um, What was your journey after that? Again, uh, after that, I'm like, I think I got burned out. Okay. Because we, yeah, because too much video. Yeah, we're not, we're not Casey Neistat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Casey Neistat, if I'm not mistaken, he started monetizing his video after 800 episodes or something. Oh my God. Yeah. Prior to that, he just gets like, pay reviews uh, yeah but he started switching on the monetization on on youtube mm. after 800 videos pasal dia begitu kenapa dia akan membayar college anaknya anaknya yang the first mm. the, the first son atau yeah, yeah. so that's why he and even up to this day if you ask him what's your biggest regret mm. that is his biggest regret for s- for switching on, on yeah day. because i remember he said one day he got like 1000 second day he got like 2000 in a space of one week It just got like five to six figures, yeah. So it's like he's missing out. Yeah. He was missing out, yeah. at, like you know, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we I got burned out, mm. and I think I took another break. Break lah. Okay. Yeah. I took. I think this time it was a longer break. From YouTube, you mean? Ah, huh? from YouTube. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've always been posting something on mm. Instagram. Pasal, you know, uh, I told you I'm a I'm a fitness guy, so it, um, and it's also easier to yeah. yeah it's easy. a no commitment thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We can drop it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, no, not much editing goes yeah, into it, so you yeah. can just post on post IG. And go. Yeah, and then story. You know, you can always keep the followers up to date mm. my followers at the time it was just my friends saja nada uh, nada fans lah it's just yeah, yeah. purely uh, friends mm. and maybe one or two people who wanted to macam like, lose weight yeah yeah so oh so would... speaking of that and also ig right mm-hmm. um i heard that the name fasting bro originated because when you were either weightlifting or when you're trying to lift weight you were fasting is that how it really originated? um okay so when i When I was trying to come up with my brand, mm. I was like, "Afa baik Yeah. At the time, there was this um, uh, creator, twins, mm. namanya Hodge Twins. Okay. I'm not sure if they're still active now. Mm. So they have another channel called Fasting Twins. Ah. So I'm like, 
why don't I put fasting, bro? Because they're fasting. Okay. okay, let me let's get back to that. Karang, okay, huh? okay, okay. So they're fasting twins. So I'm like, can I be fasting, bro? You mm. know. So the fasting here is actually a scientific. There's a scientific study lah behind okay. the fasting in it. Of mm. course, like in Islam. We fast because uh, the spiritual benefits, yes. but also on the health side, the science oh, side. Oh, banyak sebenarnya. Banyak, yeah. So in the mainstream world, it's called intermittent fasting. Okay. So what is it? Is uh, you fast for a certain period of time in a mm. day, and then you feed for period uh, for certain hours lah. Mm. So this normal practice is always 16 hours fast, mm-hmm. eight hour feeding. Meaning, mm. if you stop eating at 10 kemarin. Mm. Your first meal today will be pukul 2. Okay, yes. I remember that. Yeah. Terus kata 2. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So, the reason why I'm like, okay, maybe a lot of people are doing intermittent fasting, mm. but why am I the fasting, bro? Yeah, yeah. It's because uh, for me, I extend the hours satu lah. Up to this day, I extend. As in the non-eating hours, you extend? Yeah, I extend. So, okay. up till 20 hours, 22 oh, hours. So, your eating window gets maintained? Yeah, like so. one one meal, basically. Oh. A lot of people are doing it this yeah, day. Yeah, so, yeah. now I'm like invalid. I'm just going to fasting. Bro, <laughs> but, you know, I started out mm. the, the thinking is chumato. So, at the time, I'm like, I needed a, a name. Ja. Yeah. So, I just put it. Because I was I knew I was going to go into like a fitness and weight loss. Ah. So, I'm like, fasting is like... Uh, ada sinen- brand? Yeah. Hmm. Ada synonym, ada synonymous lah. Some, uh, what, I, what I'm trying what yeah. content I'm trying to put out so uh, yeah that's where the fasting bro wow yeah would you But, if you get the opportunity to change it would you change it or would you no. still okay I wouldn't change it I love that I wouldn't change yeah. it yeah so it's it's kind of like my brand yes and then like you mentioned today when I left uh, I fast mm. atupun banar jua I I usually would train uh, belum makan lah yeah my god I've, I think for people like you maybe it's like oh gila jo chatu kan yeah, but yeah. for people who who, who da, yeah because the okay do lu masa tani punya ancestors oof let's go do back you, yeah let's go back <laughs> do you think they have breakfast before they hunt i don't actually they hunt for food yeah, yeah. That makes sense they have to hunt yeah and when they hunt they were actually fasting so that's where the studies the the originated from actually now. when you say that now in my head yeah that starvation that hunger could also be a motivation motivator yeah for them to be like no matter what i'm gonna kill this animal yeah yeah wow. okay yeah so that's where the whole kind of like concept comes ah, from jo. okay okay yeah okay. but of course lah uh for me first and foremost is always the islam teaching lah, which is mm. like you fast because there's a Uh, heart heart benefit apa kan, and then uh, just to share juga. Uh, kalau tadi buat amalan, yes. mostly amalan itu like if I if I give if I buy you lunch or something, okay. Okay. it benefits you right. Yeah. But fasting is one of those benefits where it only benefits him. So uh. it's it's a very yeah it's a very underrated uh, amalan I would say, mm-hmm. and I've been fortunate enough lah that you know it's. It's like I I have no problem doing it lah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So puasa pun macam nadalah tu. It's just gonna be a um, breeze for you. No, that's the thing. Um, <laughs> because most of podcast puasa, my mm. one of the guests was asking me like, hey, uh, the, 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 the same question lah. Yeah. Like, ko you nadat wap ni puasa ni? So when I started explaining to him, like, uh, I said to him, kalau puasa macam, uh, like normal puasa yang Uh, Anila ni yeah. macam this this non Ramadan yeah. uh, Ramadan season. Mm. Uh, I I think macam biasa. But mm. I I told him every Ramadan has always been tough for me because ah. I don't know. It's just that's my nikmat lah. Okay. That's my blessing that I yes. guess. Yeah. It's always been tough. Mm. So after I talked about that, mm. every person now feels tough. Tough. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm like. I'm thirsty, like <laughs> I'm thirsty. Yeah, yeah, but I, f- I see that as Nick as well, because oh. if if you if it's easy for you, there's mm. no more benefit lah inside. True. Yeah, so you constantly True. have to make it hard. And I really like how you say, "Macam," you don't label that as your. You said it's tough, but you don't label that as challenging. You said it's Nick It's Nick yes. Yeah, that's one way of seeing it. Yeah, it's Nick That's the. This is the first time. Yeah, I've heard. People see it as fasting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if you fast as long as I am, like as frequent as I am, mm. I think you you kind of have it changes your mindset and mentality. Yeah, I satu. love that. Dua, you kind of have to find ways to make it more challenging, lah. Mm. Because if you it's mean on purpose or like just if you if dapat on purpose, I would do it on purpose. Really? Yeah, because 
the moment it feels easy for you, there's no more benefit. Terbalik terpulang tu, meaning the fasting atau is your normal, uh-huh. the makan is the abnormal. So you don't want that. There's no yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's why people feel great in the month of Ramadan because mm-hmm. you 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 get you get you gain this health benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I still want that. Otherwise, mm. macam what's the point mm. of fasting? Kan? I feel like personally, um, the this year, last year was the two Ramadans that I was like. Doing like really, I was looking forward to it. Mm. Especially this year, I was so excited for Ramadan. Why? Um, I don't know. I think it was just a, a shift in mindset because I know this is gonna sound bad, but previously, uh, but please hear me out, dulu. Previously, I used to dread puasa. Mm. I was like, oh my god, puasa is coming soon! Like I need to eat all the delicious food, apa semua. But I've always done really well during puasa. Mm. I actually puasa. Yeah, I'm uh, not judging. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, like, much for people out there, because uh, yeah. it's so bad that you dread puasa yeah. a holy month. You're dreading the coming of a holy month. Yeah, you know. Tapi macam this year and last year, for some reason, I was like, I actually genuinely like from my heart, like I was like. I cannot wait for Posa. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like maybe also it has something to do with like where I was at in life. Mm-hmm. Much um this year, last year have been such a blessing to me that I started mm. seeing things differently. Lah. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned about Nigma, mm. right? Yeah. yeah. That's your Nigma. The last wait, two years have been yeah. No, 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 that's seriously. It's a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's seriously, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It's the small victory, but it mm. is a victory. Yeah. That, that, that's not, Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So wow, that was a long origin story for the name fasting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we branched up even. I've always mentioned that in my vlogs, in yeah. my in my car videos, mm. in in my podcast maybe little bit saja. When it comes up, lah. Yeah. No, not really. Because I'm like, you gotta, you just gotta watch my whole okay, videos. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. But this is like a perfect time to re- uh, revisit balik lah yeah. why the name. Uh, I mean, how, how the, the name, name originated. Yeah. Mm. And then after that, so you took a break, and then you did powerlifting, and then when did you get back to YouTube? Um. Okay. This is maybe an interesting one as well. We always need um something. We always need a motivator to okay. start something. Yeah. For me, the motivation was because uh, I've I already have the passion. Mm. I already know I can do it. Yeah, I yeah. just need something to push me to do yes. to do it, lah. Um, I I think this time around it was a bit different in the jua, tapi yeah, it was it was a bit different, kale. Okay. Um, I saw a video on at the, at this point I was already doing dart. I was uh, picking up customers. Uh, I'm always I've always been bitter towards dart for I don't know if you want to get into that okay. uh, but I've always been bitter lah yeah, tapi we can later, we can yeah later. Uh, at that point I was I, I made good money because mm. you know at the time baru 10 orang kali drive yeah, it was or like new, I remember you know, I, maybe put, for me honestly I knew about dart but you made dart interesting yeah yeah so like I think at the time maybe 50 lah like 50 of us so it's it was so easy to make yeah, money yeah. like It's just chump change, you know. Yeah. Like you have time to, you have a one hour to spare, mm. and then you make like 30 bucks. Ah, uh, like that's like yeah. nothing. Oh. And then like oh, I'm busy. Uh, you turn it off. Mm. So it's like a quick 20, 30 bucks yeah. in like. Was that your motivation for doing that on the side? Because you don't have a day job, right? Mm. So you just wanted to earn something. Yeah, extra, because like. at that point uh, in life, because my... no one would think to become a driver. Now they they do I, I think mean, now, because yeah, the now, money is yes. there, can. But dulu it's like yeah, mm. dulu inda. But I think it's because you know my son. Uh, I think berapa bulan lagi dia akan lahir tu. Ah, so I have, just want uh, yeah, I just want extra money. To, you know, you gotta uh, go, for it, yeah. grow up. You know, now yeah, now yeah. we have to grow up. Now you have to finance wisely now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I need that extra bit of income, Joa. So mm-hmm. I'm like uh, maybe this is one of the things I could do yeah. and still have freedom because my my day job gives me freedom. Mm-hmm. I need another job that gives me freedom. Yes. So that was that, that freedom lah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I started doing that a few months, made some good money, and then. Stumble upon a video on YouTube, uh, called Darren Levy. Darren Levy official. Mm-hmm. He punya uh, IG nya. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, sorry. He punya YouTube. Darren Levy official kalle. IG nya Darren Levy official. Mm. Uh, he has a show called Funny Uber Right. Okay. So that's where it all. Uh, so he does the same thing as me, but he yeah. punya style is mm. more. 
short purpose. Like for me, sometimes I spend one video just with one, one or passenger. one or two passenger. Yeah. One or two passengers aja. Oh. Kalau ia in one video to he would have like 10 passenger. Oh. Yeah. How long is the, RV, the video? His video is like 10, no, tapi like short, maybe 10 passenger, uh-huh. tapi like 30 seconds each. Ah. So it's still a 10 to 15 minutes okay, video. Okay, okay. Whereas Where my, focus on, on the maybe two, three passenger yeah. per video. Mm. So that was the different, like, even though I copied him, yeah. but I tried to make something different. Lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there was Ryan is driving. Ryan is driving also a YouTube channel, does the same thing, but mm. he, he stops now. Uh, among other things, lah, but I would say Darren, Darren Levy itu yang sampai masa ni, yeah. he's still doing it up to this wow. day. Yeah, funny Uber rides. So I think that's where it started. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing dart. Yeah. You know, I oh, memang ni uh, meeting this, you know, passengers, it's like second nature lah. Like yeah. bebon, sometimes like dua dua diam, and then something happened on the road, dua dua ketawa. <laughs> that's you know, and I'm like, <laughs> why don't I just put a camera, just to test everything out? Yeah. So at first it was just I put a camera saja. Mm-hmm. Like, I like. Some occasionally the the because it is a sick no not really it's a it is a dash cam okay so people don't don't care like uh, oh it's a dash cam uh, it's for security ni. yeah or but it also rakam luar dalam so I would always just record it hmm. and then if um at first ato I never ask for no lah macam permission consent lah yeah okay when I know that I was gonna post it. The like the the fuck the months after I'm like okay I gotta start asking for yeah, content. Yeah. So if I think the content is good, then I'm ask. like yeah I ask, can I maybe put this on YouTube and then like okay lah wow. maybe one percent would say no yeah yeah but jomahal. mostly say oh, mostly yeah. ada lah yeah. yang macam jomal atau yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. macam hot kan <laughs> tapi macam <laughs> no no I think privacy is still a concern yeah, 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 privacy yeah, yeah. is still a concern yeah. like uh, I think one of the things I remember the customer dark yang dulu yang dia suka is They have to share wrong punya phone number mm-hmm. in the app atau and oh, okay. it goes out to the driver. Mm. Yeah, tu orang but mostly yeah. dia suka lah. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I think Grab, Uber, they have their own messaging yes. platform within, within the app. Yeah, within yeah. The app, yeah, yeah. So I think privacy is still a thing. That's why people in the mall bukan ah. yang orang in the hot or yeah. something lah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hot. Thank and, you for clarifying yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think it's just started. The rest is like history lah. When oh. I got the consent, I started. Posting, posting the yeah, clip, yeah. posting the clips together, and again I remember that first video because I haven't been posting for so long. Yes, I had no expectation yeah. at all and that then, first video. I'm like, if I got 100 views, I'm happy. Sekali. Yeah, sekali alhamdulillah the one week because I'm I was posting weekly at that time. Yeah, so uh, the next week nya I posted it one week. The next week nya I, I got like 100 views. I'm like, okay lah, you know mm-hmm. this is. You know, yeah. uh, YouTube is being nice to me. Yeah, I think the yeah. video is okay. Chaturang. When did you? What, what video and when did you? When did it blow up? It's the Korean video, lah. Of course, oh. Korean. It's always the Korean. Yeah. I don't know, like, <laughs> like I want to do some gesture, but you know, I could get no, in trouble. Okay. <laughs> no, Don't. And then <laughs> in, in my podcast, I get away with it. Yeah. Uh, but I think um, the the Korea the Korean video that was the video that made everything blow up and this is the thing this is the one different thing about youtube mm. and all the other platforms huh. um with other platforms okay one video blow up that's the only video that's gonna blow up okay in youtube mm-hmm. one of your videos blow up uh-huh. and you meet the wrong punya algorithm punya metrics you, yeah. you you meet the requirement mm-hmm. suddenly youtube will promote your channel oh. to the like At one point, yeah. you open YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's just my video. Any YouTube, I actually, yeah, true, true, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's the power of YouTube, lah. Wow. Yeah. So, memang YouTube is hard to get views, but once, once you just you, get there, yeah. It'll help once you, you have your Korean video, <laughs> the entire. Who's our next Korean guest? <laughs> I never had Korean guests. <laughs> Balum lagi. Balum. Yeah. So once you have that Korean video, uh, once you have your own Korean video, it will. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So what? That was the moment that you feel like you're okay. Explain to us, like, in what manner did it blow up? Like your subscriber count, your viewership, tarus nengka. Like, um, you know what? This is something. I think I shared this my Instagram, mm-hmm. tapi. I never shared it publicly lah outside of my Instagram. Okay. When I first got under the when I first blew up at all, yeah. I thought somebody was like messing with me, like buying views, because when you buy views, it's gonna hurt 
the account atau apa. Okay. YouTube sees that eh, ni fake views ni. Yeah. You know. Don't... For YouTube, you can also buy views. Yeah. You've never been around long enough. No. <laughs> yeah. I know you can buy followers. I didn't know you can buy views. You can buy views. Yeah, you can buy views. So okay. I thought somebody was messing with okay. me. Like, okay. like, what the F, guys? You know, like, I'm doing so well now. Somebody... Because at that time, you know, I don't know how to look at the analytics. Yeah. I don't know about this. I don't oh. have time. Bukan yeah. I don't know. I don't. I just don't have yeah. the time. Was the viewership so high that you thought it was yeah. a prank? No, it was not the viewership that was so high. Uh. It's a subscriber count. How much are we talking about? Because I remember I had Sarah last year in my Sarah Mumtaz in mm-hmm. my podcast. She said, "Masa year blow up, you punya uh, selawat video." Okay. She would get one thousand, two thousand followers in one day. Oh, nonstop, nonstop. Maybe if I'm not to that point non-stop. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was one point I was checking my subscriber count. Yeah. In six hours, there was like two to three thousand. That's crazy. It's crazy. I'm like, no wonder I can understand now. It's like yeah. you know, like stop it, guys. You know, like because at that point, I think I'm I'm gaining some traction, jo. So you know, maybe gain some haters, jo. Who knows, can yeah, these yeah, things? Yeah, I never yeah, really yeah. pay attention. Okay. But I'm like. I w- I remember I I talked to my friend uh, si Alwi you know Alwi you Alwi Saleh we we fishing oh, Alwi Saleh is in the film Seniman Seniman uh, Seniman what's the band yang sama okay, si Kai so bad with... Kai Irul Kai Irul Dihask yes. Seniman Bujang I know uh, Kai Irul Dihask yeah he has a side project band okay uh, this, so this guy so he's also a YouTuber lah mm. so at the time we were on the up together like yeah and then the audience with that because there's a lot of Malaysian audience okay. and he liked my content so I reached out to him I'm like bro what is happening you know like somebody messing with me ka? sekali I remember he told me bro you're up there oh so yeah 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 so that was like damn you know the I cannot I cannot describe the moment yeah I couldn't sleep I couldn't it was all I think about them yeah, yeah, yeah. like Damn, you know, now it's pressure, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, like, you know, it's pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it, it, it went from just being, it went from just being me putting on content for hobby to like, oh, I, I can't mess up my next yeah, content now. Yeah. Now it's like, yeah, okay, you need to actually like, yeah. make it ato. Yeah, so. How, many, how frequent were you uploading videos? At that at point, point, it was like weekly. Once every week or twice every once, week? Once, once every ah, week. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so in subscriber, it jumped like, Two to three thousand, we would say per day. Ah, kalau in viewership, minimum twenty twenty k per video, per video, not just one crazy. video per video. That's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. You, 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 like banar kan? Banar banar. At that point, I'm <laughs> yeah. like, what, what do I do? You know, yeah, what do yeah, I do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what did you do? Um, I think the pressure got to me, kan? Okay. So I tried my best to macam. Level up my content. Okay. Might have done something that worked. Might have done something that yeah. didn't work. What was the things that you did that didn't work? Um. Okay. So, like I told you, I think that one of the reason why you are people are you you're getting traction is because you you watching some uh, you putting out content that people want to watch. Okay. So, and that's not easy. Mm-hmm. I know, but I'm all people. It's easy. No, okay. it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it. It's a lot of guesswork. Uh-huh. It's a lot of uh, edu- educated guesswork, lah, mm-hmm. So I was like constantly finding like types of content, types of people uh-huh. want to see. So I brought in um, a very controversial figure. <laughs> yeah, the video is de- is deleted now. Wait, do I know this? Maybe. Are you okay to say? Yeah. Okay. I brought in uh, because at that point. I because people started okay. Kejap, a little bit backstory. Okay, okay, bye-bye. The video blew up. Mm-hmm. Of course, Labunai Damet. Yes. So my now my dad customers know me. They would just overact on the camera or like they wouldn't. Oh, please don't post this. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for me to get content now because everybody knows me. Okay. And you know, dark punya community, dark punya customer base is very small. Yes. It, yeah. Word gets around so fast. Yeah. So they would either like. Ice passing bro, like ah, uh, like or so call, I don't wanna. Oh yeah, but from the get go, I I don't wanna. Can you? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's switched off. I said. Mm-hmm. So it was tough. It was tough. So much. Um, at that point, uh, I had to venture out lah. Okay. So I started bringing in our influencer in the ah, okay. yeah, and I think 
most people are still curious about this. The influencer that I bring memang preplan lah. Yeah, Although yeah, the conversation yeah. was yeah not scripted lah. It's oh, just that oh. the arrangement is preplan. Mm. Oh. So when I had Babu Sino, when I had siapa lagi ya? Shafi Halim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was when it started to get hard for me to get content because everybody was like, hey, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna put this out? I was like, yeah. I can I cannot now. You know, like okay. So, um, so I the first few ones I was successful. Lah, Babu Sinor is obviously like a great figure. Mm. Uh, and then siapa lagi? Nazri. I think mm. I, I brought Nazri. And then there was a point where I'm like, siapa lagi yang kau bring ah? Yeah. Yeah. I need to I need to keep this momentum, you know. So I brought I'm in. I'm so curious now. What the hell? If you're in the music scene, you would know. I would know. Okay. But if you're not, you probably like siapa? Yeah. Like most of the people that I approach uh, that after that happened, mm. people approach me like, who is this girl? Alba. Oh, Musti yeah, yeah, okay, lah. Okay. Musti cumato. So I don't know why it should be a big deal. Mm. But you got backlash when you posted the video. Yeah, because um, I was in I was not in Brunei at the time when I when you, when the video was out. Yeah. Okay. So it was hard for me to. Get, go into my YouTube, do crisis control, and yeah, because I don't know my login and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so it was hard. So, but I think after that, it's if there was a point where my momentum stopped, I would say that was it lah. Because now I'm dividing the audience lah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe if the video had, I didn't take out. Take down the video. Mm. Maybe it wouldn't. It wouldn't have split the audience. Very adulah. Much like maybe twenty percent would think I'm this. Yeah. Eighty percent. But because I took the video down, mm-hmm. people will be like, oh, you know, something's wrong here. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, if people still wondering about my intention, my intention was to just, you know, give the girl a second chance yeah. lah. When that person first got in touch with you, how did you feel about like much? Like, did you like much? Like, Okay, I need to take this video down. Oh, like, oh, man, like, yeah, lah. So I was anula at that at that time. I was like caught into minds, I guess. You know, mm-hmm. like the evil side of me was like, oh man, you know, this is the video is doing so well. Mm-hmm. But the human side, of, uh, like the humanita- humanitarian side of me, yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe I should take this take down, it, Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did try my best to get someone to yeah. go into my office. Yeah, to, there yeah. you go. Because you were like outside of the country. Yeah, it's so hard. If you like, didn't really care. You would have. Oh, tunggu tak balik. Yeah, yeah, but you know, maybe Joe, I should have done. <laughs> no, but this is the reality of like um, content creators, right? I think it's a good time to address like macam because I also, I also previously pernah kena like macam I wouldn't I don't know if I'm using the right word accused. Tapi okay, let's just say I can't find another word. So I was being accused of making content. I would. I was willing to jeopardize relationships for the sake of content, mm-hmm. but in reality, like I, it, I was just. It was a misunderstanding, lah. I don't want to mm-hmm. go into it, but basically, it was a misunderstanding. But like, I think this is the perfect time to address that. Yes, when we're putting out content, like there is, there is a a a, a side of us that's like, you want to make the content compelling, mm-hmm. you know. So much um, we. Don't hope for it to be controversial, but we do hope that it will have a huge reach. As in, people view, yeah. people. Yeah, you about hope it. that you have a. It, it would have a virality effect, lah. Yeah, virality effect. Because the moment you don't have that, you're no longer a content creator. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, but at the same time, like, macam, if it does involve other people, I think that's where I feel like we as content creators are taking a risk, because people forget the production side of things where we take time out of our lives yeah. to record mm. we call people to come here set up apa semua so much like when people when whoever that we come on uh, to feature in the content says you know what can you please take it down obviously there's a part of us that's like ah oh. and it's nothing to do with like much like you don't care about them yeah. you do care you, you yeah. know because at that at, it's their right but yeah. i think it's very also important to address that We are allowed to like, much like, oh, you know. Can I ask you a question? What have someone been in the, your guest uh-huh. asked you to take? In that, so you've been fortunate. Like, I'm, this I've time been around. fortunate. Yeah. Fortunate, yeah, yeah. But what if I did? What that? if I yeah. would take it down? You would take it. Yeah, down. we've. I mean, how how my agreement with my guests are? It's a no. It's a non-committal. As in, you 
my guests don't sign anything. Mm -hmm. I I ask them to come out here um, for me to trust them and for them to trust me with their story. Mm -hmm. But if for Miss Alnieta, I should have read that PDF, right? You didn't read it. <laughs> it was like what 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 what? Yeah, read it after this. <laughs> one a.m. You said at one a.m. Yo, okay, we can get that to the after this. I could send a message, but we can we we can after this, yeah. But basically, yeah, it's a it's a it's a trust between two human beings that you know I'm giving them a, a platform and I'm asking them to trust me. And mm. I'm so far I'm so fortunate that, that nobody everyone's has, has. trusted me with their story, mm. and you as well included. Yeah. So much um, but I it's a value that I hold close to me that if, for example, one day someone says take it down, I will take it down. I will take it down. But no you will be hurt. Um, because I've set that intention there a while, mm -hmm. because I know the risk that I'm taking into going into this, because it's about someone's life. Yeah, you know, like much um, I will take it down. Yeah, okay. I I won't feel hurt. I will take it down for every now. The worry is that my team, because me and my team discussed if they find the video much um not airable. For example, this session is really bad, and they tell me like don't post it. Atup lang aku takut tu. Ah, yeah, not because if if my if you don't tell me to take this down, I'll take it down. Mm -hmm. But if they tell me to take it down, I need to really like. <laughs> yeah, I hope this is airable. <laughs> I mean, so far, I will. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the side of, I feel like, content creators that we need to address. Lah. Mm. You know, there's time and effort that's put into it. Yeah. yeah. And also, at the same time, it's also very important to know ourselves as content creators. What is our intention? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Intention is I learned very, a very lot. Important. I learned a lot just right there. Yeah. Yeah. Can? yeah. I think so, because you are more... In, you, 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 you've been in this more upper exposed than me then probably uh, your mindset is quite different okay but As i think like i have i'm fortunate enough to have content creators before me too yeah observe. okay yeah, yeah that's fair and i do agree with you Joa. like when you have to take something down mm. that part of you that there's that small part yeah, of you yeah. like you know because you know you put in all the effort yeah. you will take it down yeah but we're allowed to feel, yeah. uh, and it's people can say, oh, pasal yung mo fame or okay, fine, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you can say that, yeah. like <laughs> biarkan tia, yeah. But for us, we know that we've put our time and energy, mm -hmm. and like at the same time, we do want to respect other people. And for you, people can say whatever. Eventually, you took it down, yeah, yeah. And she probably appreciated it too, and yeah, her family yeah. members. That's most important. Yeah, you know, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh it's, my god, I yeah. didn't know about this whole drama. Because it was taken down very immediately. Imme immediate lah. Okay. Immediate. Yeah. Oh. So after that, did you feel like you struggled? I think so. I think because like internally I got criticized as well by my circle lah, oh. jam, you know. What I were think, some of the criticisms? No, jam, yeah lah, like they're just like asking me like why are you creating content? Is it because of like they're asking me like uh, why are you creating content? Is it because of this, uh -huh. or do you really want to put out entertainment? Because mm -hmm. for me, it's more entertainment, mah. Mm -hmm. like inspiring, apa. It's mm -hmm. more entertainment. Yeah. So, this is not entertainment. They say this is this is just you know, yeah. So this I is the fallout from Sanin, yeah? I think or, yeah. Or were they talking in general? No, it's the fallout. Okay. Yeah. Like, when when you say inner circle, do you mind sharing like your friends ka, your family ka, shapan, shapan. family. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Friends maybe draw because yeah. my I have a very, I have a very small. small yeah. Mm. How do so, you feel when they? Uh, you start to second guess. Uh, second have second thought lah. But mm. you know, like why you do content? I think, um, it doesn't help draw. Um. Okay, that was like bulan sepuluh kali ya. Doesn't help draw. Bulan satu tu, my mom passed away. So I like I was what year, what year was it? twenty two. Uh, I blew out. I blew up twenty nineteen. Okay. Twenty twenty January, my mom passed away. So like I was recovering, and then I'm like I feel like uh you know my mom is like it's hard to impress my mom, but my mom always impressed when her uh, she was a teacher. Um, her colleagues would say like, "Hey, ja, nak uni ja, jam." Don't make me like, mom, I know you don't regard me as famous, but you know, your friends, you know, but so, and she, uh, uh, when she up to, I mean, if she lived up to this day, she would not see me as someone in the, on the spotlight. And I'm okay with that. But yeah. to have people 
macam kawan dia mengaga. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Jana, aku yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I was, I, I think I recovered, but then she passed away. So, I was on the constant loop of recovering, recovered, and then recovering. I think, um, yeah lah. Ten months, nine, ten months later, my dad passed away. Oh my God. So, really trying my best to macam, and I never regret everything that you know God has put in front of me lah. I think I always see it as a learning less a learning curve learning curve lah. Mm. Like you know you have to adapt lah I guess ah. Maybe the 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 apa the the lesson here is you have to be quick to adapt. Yeah. I I think I was never quick. I was never quick enough to adapt to the situation satu lah. Mm. Yeah. So much like I was I was Aku lagi jenis orang kati lah. Kati because orang oh, menagur apa. Oh, sensitive. Yeah. Okay. And then, I was grieving juga. So, mm-hmm. macam, my mind was Your never... Your emotional um, atu was not in the right place. Yeah, I was never there, you know, emotionally. Yeah. So, most of the content that I put out after that was not well thought out lah. Yeah, yeah. Macam, it's more macam, as long as ada content, as long as my, I can feed my subscribers with content, it's okay lah. But it was never... A well thought out content right after that lah. Mm. I lost it lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, oh my god, that was like, <laughs> it was like I know much like, the gap atu batap lah. Maybe one two months, my mom passed away and then. Tapi much like, to me, it all happened yeah. so fast. No, like losing a parent. Yeah, time, like the concept of time doesn't apply. Yeah, yeah. You lost a parent in yeah. your case, parents. Yeah. Within yeah, nine months. Of nine months, yeah. I lost both of them. Oh my god. Nelida, yeah. I'm so sorry. No worries. Yeah. Got over it. Shall yeah. yeah, so much like, um, I think uh I never picked up that momentum lah. After this day, I, I don't think I have picked up because I think people label me as it's hard to it's hard to change people. And I talked to in my last podcast with Ustad Loki. Mm. Allah showed us that you cannot change people. By showing that Nabi Muhammad punya bapa sendiri in the Islam, mm. so you can't change people. You mm. can't change people punya perspective. Yeah. So I think because of that, my confidence pun macam low sikit, my morale pun low yeah. sikit. So mm. I will always have that. Macam okay, if I put out this content, is it gonna set, uh, please this kind of people? Yeah. Either. But yeah, I'm constantly trying yeah. to yeah never stop was putting out content mm. yeah and grateful that this time around I have people like you to kind of push me the way I mean, I mean by, by saying if it's just me in the space mm, mm. I'm like oh it's just me it can get lonely yeah, yeah. but with you now and Nazri and mm. I heard so many other people wants, wants to get into the podcast scene mm. it should motivate me to like push harder lah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah oh my god Thanks so much for opening up. That yeah, because I, I don't know. I I don't know how Nazri see both of us. I don't know how you. Oops, I don't know how you see me. Mm. Uh, like, uh, am I your competitor? But the way I see it now, much like, I'm wow. You know, I have I have to fight now. Mm. Just people in the space yeah, now, yeah. and I'm so grateful for that. Mm. Yeah, but I cannot much like, Manula. I cannot deny lah. You you're doing well. In my in my analytics, karang kambang ko. <laughs> I cannot come on. <laughs> In my analytics, um, the top channels that my viewers watch, you are number one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you for thank you for sharing. Yeah. That. I thought it's a an ala. It's a motivation for you. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I understand when you said like macam you start to question like macam you making content like would it please this audience? Would it mm. please that audience? I think I don't know. Like macam. It is difficult because you want to strike that balance between creating something that you want and hoping people will enjoy it too. Mm-hmm. Because um, I think, like, as much as it's been uh, amazing with having like a higher view- higher viewership and like high subscriber count, I think it's also like uh, I don't know. It's it's a very complicated realm we're in. You know, yeah. like, macam you want to stay true to stay true to yourself, but by staying true to yourself you have to be okay to let some people be unhappy yeah mm-hmm. or not unhappy but like macam you have to accept that okay they're not watching not because of papa it's just because they're not 
that that's not the kind of content that they mm-hmm. consume. Yeah, yeah. Atu saja, literally just that. And then you should focus on people who keep wanting to watch, watch your mm-hmm. videos like week mm-hmm. by week apa which is why I'm always grateful for people who because I did solo work before this and my production mm. was so shit until Fuad came into my life I was literally just talking like, I was using my iPhone I camera saw it, yeah. yep. <laughs> thank you for not yeah, saying was, like oh it was, no it wasn't shit yeah it was shit but but regardless there are still people who watch that mm-hmm. and then I feel so I feel like much I'm so Chana I feel so grateful to them that they stuck around to see me evolve. Cha- yeah, evolve. evolve. Yeah. Which is why I always, 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 always will match like, lion whenever they DM. Mm-hmm. I will always lion whenever they send me a message. Because yeah, I don't know. Kalau fasting bro, lion lah. <laughs> but yeah, but so um, I appreciate. Where, I understand where you're coming from, and I'm. I really like now. I feel like much like, I'm glad that we are having this conversation mm-hmm. like so openly and so vulnerably because we got to like share like much the struggles of being a content creator. Yeah. And I like to like reframe that. I don't think it's a struggle. It's just uh challenges. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the challenges. Uh, it's part of the it's part of the less part, yeah. of the, the part of the journey. Part of the journey, part of the career path. Mm-hmm. And for you, like it's good joy that you have like a day job that sustains you and yeah. your family and like much it's amazing how you in turn you can you're able to hire crew to mm-hmm. pay like for me and for what we're going into this we want to try and make this turn into like our profession mm-hmm. yeah so much now we're like actively like we're even trying to crowdfund this show to keep it going up mm-hmm. because for now the crew pun kami bayar pakai makan saja mm-hmm. and again also thank you you want to join <laughs> Is he poaching? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that's why I'm always that's why I did like this show. Thanks for it, sharing that. Yeah, I think no, that's yeah. a very important thing for people to know. No, but it's know. true. It's yeah. the, I I I don't feel like why am I why would I even keep it as a secret? Mm-hmm. You know? Like I've been so open with everybody so mm-hmm. far. I just feel like much um people who are afraid to share stuff. I thought okay, that's your prerogative if you don't want to share. I'm not going to judge you. But at the same time, you have to question, is it because you're insecure? Mm-hmm. Because is it because you have scarcity mindset that you're willing, you're scared that you're sharing too much that people will like, I don't know, steal from you mm-hmm. But that's their own uh demons that they need to deal with lah. For mm-hmm. me, alhamdulillah so far I've been open with my journey and I don't know. It's just so fun. Like, much I'm really now. I'm genuinely enjoying my yeah. time with you. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't expect this to go this way. <laughs> Not that I was like, much I'm. Oh, I'm gonna have a boring time. It's just like I had no expectations at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think going into something without expectation is the best be, way. Yeah, the best way. Yeah. 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 Same thing with me, lah. Like I know I was excited. Tapi, I am still excited. Tapi, yeah. much I'm, you know, I gotta try to bring it down so that you know we can open up, lah. Yeah. And can I just go back to? I know I said your your solo podcast was shit, yeah. but you needed that. Yeah, I definitely. You, that was your did. Portland video. Yeah, that was your <laughs> yeah, Portland yeah. video. That was your 200 vlogs. That was yes. otherwise you wouldn't have evolved into 100%. this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was part of the journey that yeah. we needed to go through. I yeah. needed to go through. And even like, inshallah, if you're creating this podcast or whatever type of content in that sometimes blue town, napa? When you this is. The, your current benchmark now, can yeah. in ten years time you're gonna watch this video? I'm like ew, <laughs> ew, you know, because the, we always want to evolve. improve, yeah, yeah, Im- yeah. Imp- improve, yeah. yeah. That's what's job <laughs> 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 to make sure we don't go ill in ten years time. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, like we we sidetrack so much. But now going back, putting the spotlight back on you. <laughs> so after the whole ordeal that you had to go through, your emotional journey lah, mm-hmm. with your content creation, with your parents passing, with the whole backlash with like, yeah, to... that was not the only backlash though. We had a couple. Oh my god! Okay, no, no, well, I, okay. but I think that's the most controversial. Okay. We had a so few that's where, the top I, yeah, we had. I had a few where I have to take down a video. Ah, must yeah. I also that was not the only video you had to take down. I think I had to take like a few lah. How many, to be exact? Okay. Okay. One with uh, lipstick, my name, Nabila, oh. and one recently <laughs> in my podcast. I <laughs> took down one video. Catch up with lipstick mining, can I? Um, okay. With lipstick mining, it was not that controversial. Plan. It's more like uh, we had a question in the in the video in the video, though, where it was like uh, things that you, I think things like you don't like okay. with like apa. And she answered, uh, "Urang betul dong." Express, you know, the, the Express to Dong. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So that got backlash lah. Oh and God. I don't think it was that bad. It's just that her haters got into the video and jump 
Uh, on. They took the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, but you like people in my audience were like, oh, you know, it's just for fun, bah. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then like, I would have, I don't know, I would have just keep it, keep the video. Tapi macam, uh, I was, I feel for her. Uh, yeah lah, cause um. you know, uh, she's a friend as well. So I took it down. Also, uh, but she didn't ask you to take it down. She did. Oh, she did. Okay, she so did. you also felt like you wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah. Andang, andang. Uh, yeah lah. Andang, I wanted to, like, because, like you said, mm. it's always about the guests, kan? Yes. It's not about us. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Atu. Tapi I don't think that was controversial. I think that one is just like you punya hater. Let's like, just, just yeah. you know, it was just for fun, man. Nothing malicious at all. Mm-hmm. Nothing to the level of. And then recently, uh, I have one podcast that I had to take down because uh, it would involve a. Um, non-government association lah. Oh, you can cut this down. She was at, she was in Cambodia at the time, preparing for the oh the Sea Games. God. The next day, she called me, take it down. I'm like, oh, oh it was already up. It was already up. <laughs> oh, you, I, I feel so bad for you. I feel okay. I don't want to be in your position. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so many videos you had to take down. Uh, yeah, three that I can remember yeah. that was controversial. The, the rest are two more like you know technical, oh my God. technical issue. But you know, I think I'm just to echo what you said. I'm okay with taking down the video, but we will always be feeling much. Like I'm, oh, you know, we put in so much effort. You know, mm. editing because mm. I I do most. The, Well, I do all the edits, cause <laughs> yeah, cause YouTubers, you know, Marcus oh Bra- Marcus Brownlee, MKBHD. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. After this, they still edit his video. Oh, there was there was one. I thought the, he expanded his team. Yeah, but he said, "Kapnya, banyak like task kan tak? Yes, editing is still his. Yeah, there's there are things that, and I'm pretty sure if you talk to Fiza, you know Fiza. Apa kan Fiza? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she still edits his video. Oh yeah, oh lah. She yeah. wouldn't delegate, but like, mm-hmm. if she has a budget and she can delegate the editing, she, she would, would still edit. Okay. Yeah, and I'm I'm very much like that because I don't know because it's very hard to replace me, I guess. I mean, I, but also like the output needs to be you needs to sound like you needs to. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It would it is take brand. a lot of work if you have to sit someone down, yeah, teach, teach them, okay. Okay. and then like, and I think if you teach someone, the outcome is not going to be the same. It's still, never going to be the same. Yeah. yeah. So okay, okay, that's something I need to take into consideration, lah. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sidetrack a lot. No, but it, no, but it, it's. I feel yeah, like yeah. It, like yeah. I think the lesson here is if you want to jump into this, you gotta accept. Yeah. You gotta accept that you're gonna piss off a lot of people. And one, one, there's like a time where the guest would just reach out to you and be like, and be like, can you please take the video down? Even though sometimes the reason at all, like for you, mm, it doesn't small, justify. Yeah, yeah. But for them, yeah. it's like, yeah. And, and I think this is, um, I read about this, mm. uh, in like when it comes to podcast lah, and this is uh, attributed to the unprofessionalism lah. Mm. What I mean by that is, kalau you show up at RTB. And you set some things. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna reach out to the producer and be like, "Puan, boleh kita, I know, take that down. Uh, take that down. Yeah. You're not gonna do that on national TV or wherever, like Astro Cup. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna do that. Mm-hmm. But because you have access to us, you have access direct to, access, direct access. You more inclined. That's what I mean by unprofessionalism, lah. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, we we as creators have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like you, someone lah, I have to take it down. It's just that with with heavy heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So atu maybe important for upcoming guests lah to my podcast to his podcast that um <laughs> I don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> kalau you can take down take down the parts kali saja jangan din tay ting lah kan kan cam sakit sakit oh sakit yeah <laughs> and I usually tell my guests if there's something that you need me to blur kapa. Tell it on the spot so that when we edit, oh, we know. Yeah, yeah. Jangan macam you can see up sudah. Uh, boleh take out mana tua? Like, oh my God, you know which part? I don't remember. It's a two hour, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's also what people forget. Yeah, yeah it's like it's, which part dah? This Jangan is not a two. five second video, guys. Yeah, I know. It's not TikTok, you know. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I, the reason I put out. Put that out is because from now on, I think more more people, even orang biasa pun, more want to be a guest. Mm. So 
I these people so. lagi dia unprofessional uh, I mean bukan unprofessional unfamiliar with yeah, how yeah, we do yeah. things so True. it's very important that when you try to curhat a few things apa if you want the production to cut the things atau tell on the spot lah yeah, yeah, yeah. jangan afterwards when it's already up <laughs> definitely yeah. not yeah done. oh my god okay <laughs> Oh, okay, now back to your journey. <laughs> yeah, so how did you... Okay, so would you say after the driving videos, um, you felt like lost its traction, you started going back to podcast... You started you started podcasting? No, actually... What happened in between? Um, in between, I'm, all, I'm also... Do, I was doing a few episodes of uh, uh, food reviews. Okay. But it was a different one. Like, it's a very harsh reviews. So I had a producer... Who was also a co-host? They like her. They don't like me. They say, "Can you make this show without him?" Yeah. No, because I'm too. Because we don't have that in Brunei, ba. I'm not trying to bring down a, you know, take down a business or something. I just want people to be transparent, ba. Like, kadang-kadang when you see people reviewing stuff, when you go there, it's not even, you know, it's not even as as reviewed, tratila. It's And paid. I, I, yeah, which is why I appreciate people like Rano. Rano. Kalau ia anda suka, he would, ian, just, yeah. he would just not review or like he would recommend something else. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't say something bad. Yeah, maybe yeah. I need to learn something from him when it yeah, comes yeah. to like review. Mm. When it's my masa main show, we did three episodes. You were literally unfiltered. Yeah, unfiltered. Like this one, other filter. Are like maybe like 20% percent filter. Are the video still up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fit video. Mana tahu. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I it, I I went like okay maybe it would be nice if pakai kuah uh, rendang or something uh, like that. Okay. Yeah. So we did three episodes and then uh, I realized like oh, this is not for me because because uh, you know we still have heart can mm. we don't want to uh, oh yeah because it's someone's business too especially yeah. if you're doing it for like a small restaurant maybe. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. And then I got I revolutionized my car show. Okay. I made it into like a um if you know Jerry Seinfeld's comedian in cars getting coffee. No. So Chana, kalau kan ikut copycat, why you can say that lah copycat? Or so, inspired by? Yeah. Why does it have to be copycat? Inspired Some, by. Some <laughs> So if you watch Netflix, I must say that on Netflix, mm. uh comedians in cars getting coffee. Mm-hmm. I did Quite a number of episodes. Yeah, yeah. About I think I saw a few. Yeah, so basically, Yang si Kai and one, ah, si Kai. And... So basically, the guests in the car, mm. sama macam the old format, but we also go out, sit down in a restaurant. Mm. So it's all in one, okay. but we don't review really it lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know You're over with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's all in one lah. In all, all, but it's all the premise is still talk show. Okay. So we did maybe 10 episodes of that, mm-hmm. but it starts getting expensive. Oh. We had a few unreleased ones as well because yeah. I don't know there was a lot of technical issue. So when you move things, to. yeah, when you move things around, uh, your level of battery starts to abyss. Uh, f- camera lupa focus lah because they're moving around. Yeah, yeah, Visa, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Credit to Visa, she, she yeah. helped me mm. a lot in the show. But after a while, I'm like, oh, this is too a lot of work, mm. and we have a very small crew. Sometimes we have to deal with six hours of footage. Oh my god. Yeah, we yeah, just don't yeah. have the manpower resources. Yeah, yeah, resources lah. I think mm. I would say resources lah. And if I ask someone to edit, I don't think it's gonna be, gonna be up to my standard. Yeah. So after 10 to 12, I'm I'm not sure berapa numbernya, but it was banyak lah episodenya. Mm. We stopped doing that. Okay. And then again, I took a break, mm. and um, but this one is the very short break lah. And then. Oh, this is gonna be another controversial part of my life. Oh my god. I did not know that we would be discussing so many controversials today. <laughs> <laughs> But okay, let me just briefly. Yeah, just no, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I partnered up with a few people mm-hmm. to form. This is was the beginning of the podcast, actually. Okay. So I partnered up with some people. Do you want me to? I mean, if you're okay to share. Yeah, partner with your G. I don't your know. Your G as this. No. I'm very. Do I know him? Okay, there you go. See, they know who I know and who and I don't know. Pilot Ridwan. That, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, okay, okay, probably on Instagram. Good enough, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I partnered up with these two. So we would make like a media company, lah. Okay. This was last year. 
Mm-hmm. Very recent. So that was June, kali June. Wow, last year, bro. Yes, last oh, year, bro. Yes. So still fresh. Still a fresh. year ago. Exactly a year ago. Yeah. Exactly a year ago. So we had a studio set up. Uh, we call it Content House. Oh, yeah. Sure, I mean. <laughs> yeah, we call okay. it Content House because uh, it was literally in an apartment, so mm-hmm. it's like a very cozy setup, lah. Mm-hmm. And then the idea is to for me to continue my journey at okay. that at that time. I was already thinking about podcasts because ah. it's the way to go. Yes. Like I started watching a lot of podcasts, mm-hmm. and then for them, is for as a hub for for drong punya, uh, like. Commercial projects, okay. so it's an all-in-one media company, lah. Yeah. yeah. Are, are they content creators too? Yoji is more designer, graphics designer. Si Pilot Ridwan is more cinematographer, lah. Oh. Yeah. I probably know them. Just a disclaimer: I'm bad with names. If yeah. I see their face, I will yeah. probably know them. If yeah. They're Pil- in this industry. I will probably yeah. know. Yeah. Pilot them. is more yeah content creator, jua, okay. but more into like cinematographer, lah. Mm. So you would get like commercial projects, okay. apa. Okay. So we just make it one company that. Produces content yeah. for Anila for podcasts yeah. for for companies for, okay. for all this lah. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah, until you <laughs> implement it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then um, we were there for six months, I think five six months. There any as in a house? Uh, yeah, in that studio lah. We call it uh, the content house. We were you there. You guys for, actually rented our studio. Yeah, so expensive. Compass lah, taro sa ko punya wallet ko. Did you guys all share equally? You, if it's gonna cost some to I don't know. I don't yeah. know if it's gonna cost like a. I mean, usually we try to talk about your side. If mm-hmm. it involves other people and they might get upset, we can keep it to off the record, Joe. After this, oh, uh, if you can summarize it, summarize <laughs> it. Yeah, I don't know. How Basically, to we're not trying it. to paint a bad picture about someone, lah. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not. Um, I don't care how you edit it, actually. Okay, but yeah, I don't care how you edit it, but. So was that the reason that, why? That already answered the question. Okay, so basically <laughs> that was the reason also why it didn't. I guess so. Reasons. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Because um, yeah, my eventually my my wallet started getting thin, and I'm like, I can't do this, guys. You know, okay. like, um, but we did uh kickstart the podcast, the U Studio, which was I'm I'm happy about. Learned a lot of things okay. about you know media, about this and that lah. Mm. That I implemented in my new uh, establishment now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it started. So we did six episodes on the the old studio, and then uh, bulan sablas told them, you know, guys, I can't do this anymore. Like, uh, and then at that point, lagi I uh, bulan sablas, I was going umrah apa. Uh-huh. So I said uh, early December I have to go umrah. We need to settle down the the things, ane, because. Oh, wow. When we got into the space at all, it was unfurnished. So mm. a lot of the things are too small. Yeah, you have to buy. Yeah, oh it's too Like, no, I have to clear out. Like, where oh, am I going to put it? Out. Where oh, am I going to put it? True. Okay. I live in an apartment. I don't have place to to put, yeah. put it, kan? You know, like, my late parents' house pun dah made. Mm. Like, there's no place to put it, except di luar, which oh, is like, oh, oh, the sofa, apa, like, yeah, how, kan? Yeah. So, bulan lima tu, eh, uh, bulan lima, the fifth month tu, which is bulan sablas, I'm like, guys, Uh, we have two weeks left here. Like we need to clear out mm. these things, lah, pa. Mm. Yeah. So that was the journey last year. Ah, uh, oh, that's so fresh. Yeah, that's yeah. so fresh, still fresh. But to just to put it out there, I learned a lot in that very very brief uh, partnership. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't have any ill intention, lah, towards to towards both any, of them. Yeah. we're still friends. Yeah, uh, that's I, good. Yeah, I'm still I'm still hitting up Yoji. Okay, okay. I'm still hitting up Yoji mm. every time, like. I need a, a ideas couple. Yeah. I need advice. So for people who probably want to get into partnerships, mm-hmm. what would you say would your biggest advice be? This is very unconventional, plang. Okay. And this is based on my experience. Mm. I'll share dua lah, maybe. Okay. Ah. Satu yang the textbook. Okay. I think the textbook one is always put everything on writing, black okay. and white. You know, sign everything. Mm. Yeah, because mm. even though your friends in business, there's, there, there are no friends. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not saying they they screw me over. No, never mm. never said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Never yeah, said yeah. that. Yeah, let's just get that clear. Yeah, yeah. they never screw me mm. over. We're still friends. I would literally just call you in the middle of the night, and like, can you be here in five, five minutes? It would be here in five minutes. There's mm. no screwing up. Like, I think it's just. Circumstances that yeah, we didn't yeah, foresee, yeah. so that's number one. Put everything on writing. Okay. My unconventional advice would be, 
maybe partner with someone who are, who are the same taraf as you. Uh, In fine taraf. Eh? Same taraf meaning if you are willing to put this much money mm-hmm. into a business, uh, make sure your partners are also, also willing to put much. I'm not saying yeah, yeah, same yeah. taraf as in I have more money. Oh, no, oh no, no. I didn't think that. Yeah. Kalau for me, yeah. I don't care how much money I have. I'm like Mr. Beast. Mm. Mr. Beast, all the earnings he got, he invests 100%. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that. Okay. So I don't care how how much it takes. Yeah. Because at that at one point, when last year too, we were thinking of uh, renting a 1.5k, which I almost went to. You're crazy. I'm, I am crazy. So 1.5k what? A uh, 1.5k per month apartment. Apartment. I almost went for it. Because it was so nice, you know, it's so cozy, so many rooms, yeah. So, yeah lah, kalau for me, I don't care. Mm. Like, I I want to put 100% into, 150% into it. Okay. So, I would put how much money I want. Mm. So, make sure, if you have, if you want to partner with someone, make sure your partner pun, if you're willing to Equally put this much. as crazy. Are you willing to put in this much? Okay. If it is, yes. Mm. So, there's no, ano lah, so you wouldn't doubt yourself. Okay. So, macam moving forward. You know whatever whatever vision whatever macam redeve- development uh apa tu development of the partnership development plan that you have okay he would be down with it ah uh, yeah. okay macam you don't want you to spend like this much money and you oh, that's too expensive bro mm. of course that like, we want to have discussion but yeah yeah just you have to know that your your partner would be up down for it. yeah also, down okay. if you yeah okay i think wow. that's a very unconventional for like you wouldn't you wouldn't find that in a textbook kali i think mm-hmm. i thought just from my experience lah okay which is why i went into the new studio alone uh, yeah i mean i'm not alone i have my team yeah. alhamdulillah mm. i'm so grateful mm. they're not here right now <laughs> i call yeah my team I'm like can you guys come with me cuz uh I'm, I can be awkward at times. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. So far, nada pun pula. Yeah, but sometimes I just need them to be for moral, bah. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay, like, okay, you know. okay. Oh. Bah, yeah. Sunday, orang yeah, jarang yeah, lah, yeah. jarang keluar. Yeah, mm. but I'm so fortunate lah to have my team job. Yeah, and yeah, uh, try my best to uh, not repeat the same mistakes lah from the your last previous. Year. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's how your solo podcast began journey your solo podcasting journey began solo yeah. as in i'm going into it without any partners yeah, yeah 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 that's also oh, that that's how it began yeah that's how it began okay yeah. mm. which has a lot more stories a lot of story to uncover i don't know how much time you have that's, okay yeah like so, what what's the one thing that you want to share um okay can kami rushing to move out bulan yes. 11 i say because bulan 12 i had to i mean i was flying for umrah mm So we had to uh, at that point alhamdulillah again this is my name uh-huh. I was asking two weeks after I was asking people like you guys have a space you know space that I can rent out to just put my stuff mm-hmm. you know something kalau ada yang macam in the Basiwa can I just rent for $50 dollars mm. just to put my stuff oh. until I figure out what to do yeah, yeah. cuz two weeks ago macam I was also really dealing with my business apa yeah. kan so it's, yeah. it was a very packed two weeks lah And then again, the one person that always comes to my rescue, I I give him a call like, hey, um, do you have a place kusong that I can rent? You know, like, oh, di mana nya? Panu pulang sudah masaninya. Sekali, I told him the situation. I said, oh, I'm moving out from my studio di Kiarong. Because the business is not doing well, mm. so I need a place to just um, uh, ampai barangku saja. Mm-hmm. Oh, di mana tu Anya? Anya, cuba agaknya arah this place nya. Remember that place uh, yang dulu tu nya? Uh, okay, okay. Some backstory about my current studio. Pre pre second wave COVID, <laughs> I actually looked into it. Ah, uh-huh. yeah, because I know that building belongs to this person lah. Okay, so I don't know who you called? Yeah. Okay. The person that always comes to my rescue, yeah. So I know that person belongs to this guy. So I just had a look, even though tema tu nte tau ada kendo kusong, I don't oh, know. Ba. I just went there to uh, ni, uh, scout lah. Mm. Sekali, uh, at that time I I was like I like this place here. We saw it, yeah. I know and I know it's not gonna be expensive because mm. the location, yeah. the size. Yeah. So after and for some reason at that 
place at that time tempat tu dia berkunci wah ini dia berkunci oh so i could God. go in masuk and check it out check it out like you know kipas dia apa bisa aja sini dia saya jual it's like welcoming you yeah welcoming me yeah, yeah. so that was pre second wave ah okay. two years ago pre second wave so after that to i gave him, i gave him a call hmm. i was like hey um tempat di tempat tu ada ke masih part anu ada kosong ke oh ah oh, ya panuh sudah tunya oh. i'm like oh you know like oh ba okay lah okay lah yeah. yeah it's not meant to be lah at the time at the time yeah. and then thankfully yeah, yeah. second wave happened i mean not, not second wave Hey, second wave needs to happen for yeah, yeah, the yeah. endemic to happen. Yes, okay, yeah, so okay. in a way we have to be grateful for some of the uh, anu lah misfortune that's happened. Yes, yes. So fast forward to last year when I was looking for two weeks after I was looking for place atau. So what happened was because of the second wave atau uh-huh. the tenant that was supposed to anu atau lari, oh. lari, oh, lari, lari. Oh my god. Yeah, lari. So the building is actually a two-story building. Mm-hmm. Di bawah tu restoran sepatutnya. Sepatutnya. Di atas tempat because... tinggal. Oh, staff tinggal house. staff. Yeah. Or office. Mm. It can be both lah. It can be okay. both. The setting is bo- uh, home friendly, office yeah. friendly juga. Ah. Sekali, hanya uh, ingat tempat anu tu nyak. Cuba agak sana nyak. Uh, Si Anwar itu betulnya sebutnya nama lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lari bayarnya. Oh, Ini jadinya. Dan lagi sampai sign tenancy yeah, agreement apa. Because yeah. it was in pre-development stages kan. So they never had any agreement oh, lah. Oh my god. Ya. Yeah. Tapi yang I remember. Di bawah tu besi min tu sudah wah. Kesia oh. empat pintu. Ya. Yeah. Empat, ada empat roller kan. Yes. They left two roller. The, the two roller ni. Diorang cabut. Diorang si min. Uh, so if you go to my studio. Literally di bawah tu besi min wah. Bida wah. Ya, ya, ya. It was supposed to be roller. But because they wanted to make a restaurant kan. They si min. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah, Siapa kau agak kesananya? Sekali. Um. Uh, this time nya ambil anu ah uh, ya bagi kunci because ibu kunci <laughs> ibu kunci yeah so i went there and it's like you know it's like it's still you feel like it's yeah like, okay. it's, it's speaking to me and mm. like uh macam this is it you know and i ask him how much is the rent mm. and it's reasonable lah to yeah. me macam yeah even though i'm not making any money it's still reasonable to yep. me lah yeah yep. and then bah i said i'll i'll take it lah tapi can i i told him runding lah Can I start renting on the first January uh, because bulan 12 ani I'm going umrah. Oh wow. Yeah. Hey, yeah. check out this goal. This goal, you know. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, because the person I thought is my father-in-law, <laughs> my boss, my savior lah. So of course. I was like, like, kenapa ini mention namanya tadi ah, bukan mainnya yeah. macam menyebut yeah. semua nama orang. Yeah, so <laughs> oh. yeah, so macam wow. of course it's gonna be okay with that. Nak nak menentunya. So yeah, yeah. alhamdulillah. That's my risky. And again, my enigma. Yes. And when I say ada drama lagi tadi masa kan banyak barang simpan sana. Tapi I'm not that stupid lah. Yeah, my yeah. camera, my all my lah, oh yeah. my stuff yang itu simpan lah semua. Mm. Simpan uh, my brother yang menjaga mm. my camera apa tu. Uh, masa umrah kena masukin lah tempat tu. Aduh. <laughs> yeah, so my lighting was gone. My, no yeah, way. My lighting. That's why my lighting, dia baru no barulah semua. The, the, yeah, in yeah. the new studio the now. Studio ni baru semua. Like, Gila, why so many things are happening to you? I don't know. I, I guess, um, I look at it as, uh, Allah punya teguran lah. Yeah. Because, okay, if that didn't happen, mm-hmm. I wouldn't reinforce the place with security. Okay. So I think it's just trying to tagur you like yeah, before yeah. before your camera is sto- uh, being stolen yeah, yeah. I'll just let them take your lighting. Yeah, yeah, so okay. it's just it, that's yeah. one way of looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. because if that didn't happen I wouldn't have reinforced the place lah. True. Now it's like a fortress basically like I know every movement. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if you want to speak about movement kan tempat tu macam kind of abandoned. I have a camera di belakang. People are always doing project di belakang tu. So it's really annoying, like. <laughs> oh no, no, no! You know, project, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like, you guys know that there's a camera, right? That was at all. Like, can you please look around first before you do? Oh, oh my god! You know, literally, recent, the recent one, the recent Stress one. Uh, the recent one, ah, uh, the recent one was last Friday. Aku boleh semain Jumat. Aku boleh semain Jumat. It was like masa semain Jumat tak? Aku satu ada. Notification. Somebody is in the compound, right? But you know, di bawah saja. So I'm not really urgent to go check lah. Yeah. Sekali aku boleh semain Jumat. Bus semua ber blackout. Ku berhenti sebelah keretanya. They're doing it wah. Like, like seriously, you know, like it's Friday. Sekali like 
I'm that Trust. awkward. I don't want to go there. It's so disgusting, right? What did you do? So I just kedapan saja. Wait for like five minutes. I wanted to make another round. Kalau orang paham, orang lari. Sekali masa orang lari, tu aku sengaja. Pakai telefon ko. Tapi I didn't. I didn't bilang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just making. And this happens a lot, guys. Like seriously, if you know play somewhere in Madang, yang usulnya macam kosong. It's not kosong. It's fully equipped with cameras. So be careful. This guy is dia kurang cerita wah. Kurang cerita. <laughs> no 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 like I not, don't realize I have so many stories. Yeah. It's always me on that side so I don't realize that I have so many stories. I'm just like whoa, people are really going to be like what's up so, Yeah, I know. And I uh, start recently we started noting down the plate number lah. <laughs> yeah, so that you know like I'm tired of it. Like, <laughs> don't you guys see? There's like a lot of cameras around the building. Like, clearly they yeah. were not in the right mind. Musta hari Jumat. Listen, I'm not even making that up. It's Friday. Like, astrophilism. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Now, oh my God. Back to you. Enough yeah. about other people's <laughs> party. <laughs> <laughs> Your story, oh my god, wow, we covered so many. Okay? I know. We covered so many. I know, this is like, because I told you I've never been invited. Yeah. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah. I've never been invited. So this is like all in one now. Yeah. All, like all those miss, uh, in, not getting invited. Yeah, yeah. This is all, all packed into yeah, this. All packed yeah, into no, this. but like I appreciate now. It's yeah. like an exclusive now. Yeah, it is an exclusive. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, thank you. No worries, man. I, I appreciate it. Damn. So, yeah, it is, it is exclusive, yeah. Mana saja yang for you, I don't care. I don't have yeah, a yeah, filter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care if it's gonna get me in trouble. I don't care. I'm not gonna ask. Like, um, mudah-mudahan this video you will post it. But if you post it, I will never ask you to take anything okay, down. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If ada orang nelipon, I'm not gonna. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you deal with it. Eh? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So now we can start talking about your podcast. Mm-hmm. So who out of all your guests you feel like is the most memorable one, and why? Most memorable. Yeah, and how many guests have you had so far? The one that's posted. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay, yep. so who do you feel like is hey, wait, the most? Twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one in the new studio. Yeah, twenty-one in the new studio. Twenty. I have one. I had recently. Baru ada satu V two. What's part two? Oh, okay. I think yeah. the one the you recently recently post. post. So, yeah, so okay. okay. Yeah. So ah, so hard. Yeah. Memorable lah. If you had to pick one, yang paling memorable for you, and like why was it memorable? It can be anything lah. But let's try to make it like something good lah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'm saying this because it's recent. Okay. I would say Ustaz okay. Loki. Ah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know. Ustaz Loki ni ya. Uh, I hope people don't take this in a negative way lah. I don't. Okay. Ya utaknya gila. Define Tapi, gila. Macam it's just like normal people lah. He, he's an Ustaz. Okay. I don't think he has his ceramah tauliah but he's an Ustaz. In uh, mengajar Quran, uh-huh. so you would see him as a Muslim influencer, Islamic okay. influencer, kan? Tapi the way he thinks is just normal. Normal. Okay. Like recently, he randomly just told me, like, um, ada satu cerita ni. I, and he, this is a bit private, but okay. for untuk benefit orang lah. Uh-huh. I told him, eh, there's this one guy, kesian lah tu, macam, ia kena. You know, to macam kesian lah. Okay. The the, I I was just telling him uh-huh. about this guy. Okay. I found out about this guy. You know, kesian dah dah makan dah dah. Ah uh, okay. Then when we, when I saw him recently for the podcast at all, he told me, eh nyak kuboya makan. I'm like, oh. you don't have to do that. Pasal that guy at all, usulnya cuma tu. You know, like not oh. not his sin but not his vibe bah. But he doesn't see it that way. He just. He, 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 that's this, the side that I just discovered just by talking to, you know, just by being his friend. Mm. But the podcast is why it was so, um, why it was so memorable for me is because I get to say things where a normal Ustad wouldn't admit. Okay. So, like, he's so open about it. Like, Again, don't take this the wrong way. Ada sekali tu ya sembayang zuhur akhir wah. Ah. Uh, Ugu 3 wah. Okay. But he's an ustad. But it's still... Yeah, I know, but you know, you're not supposed to lambat-lambatkan kan. Oh. Being an ustad and all. Okay. For some people, that's negative bah. Oh. But he was just like, eh, uh, aku 
because I was telling him aku mm. eh bap, at the time I had a phone call with him. Mm. I was like bapa ngaco aku ni kan aku kan 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 semayang mana? Yeah. Ah nyamana aku tanya aku selalu semayang kul tiga nya cakap. He he sounds joking but actually at that time he was true he cakap nya mm. ah uh, that time nya aku ada something something. Oh bah oh bah. So he was so open about a lot of things. So some things that normal ustaz wouldn't be open to mm. to oh, he's just very like yeah like yeah trans- and uh, the reason he he's not pretend, pretending nah. to be pious or no. he's just chill yeah i think the reason why he is so open is because he wants people to relate to him mm. yeah nothing negative yeah. nothing yeah so if you ask me memorable that would be it lah that's a deep question eh? <laughs> yeah never thought about you know having the 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 like the best session yeah. lah Oh, because he is indeed someone like macam how I used to macam view you Joe, before coming on this podcast. He's always been on my radar, but I've never made the effort to to initiate any you conversation. Should. You should. He's at some point maybe yeah down the yeah, line. Yeah, you like yeah. just say hi to him and then you would. Straight, I know he's friendly though. Oh yeah, you would straight straight macam yeah. If you end up pakai tupi, yeah, you don't think he's a new start. That's mm. how yeah. That's how normal you mean. That's how normal he is. Okay, yeah, okay. and I don't think my podcast really shows that yet. Okay. Like in person, is mm. this guy, ba? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's like one of your most memorable. Most guess, memorable. La. Okay. Yeah. Um, Are you gonna ask like my most unmemorable? I was gonna, but yeah. let's just. I don't want to be rude to anybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you can tell me off camera, but not uh, on camera. I get. Oh well. Okay. No, yeah. kalau unmemorable, I would just say this lah. Okay. I ha- think I have one or two where I feel like either I didn't do well or they just. Uh, oh my god! I. This is why I enjoy talking to you. Yeah, because you know sometimes you have. Because sometimes I feel we like we have our off days. Okay. Right. We yeah, have we have off, off yeah. days wah. And sometimes when the episode, the recording doesn't go well, you start to question, man, did I? Is it me that yeah. didn't do a good job? Yeah. Am I gonna you release know? this now? Tapi macam jo, like they come all the way. Mm. So yeah, to I have I, I would say up to this point I have two okay, that, that you feel like macam yeah you still... feel like on a if on a any other day I wouldn't have released it. Ah. Because it was just not. Up, up to, to your okay la. okay whether feel, it's them or you la as in the cause yeah bo- the, both la but i would yeah, say yeah. but i wouldn't say them maybe it's a mix of both job mm-hmm. maybe they're not really a good storyteller uh, or maybe at that on that day i'm just tired yeah i mean you have your off days to yeah, gun yeah. yeah so yeah. i think you would know job mm. i think usually in the middle to in the middle of the taping you're like Oh man, this is not going anywhere. Oh. The conversation is not engaging enough. Mm-mm. Nobody's gonna. You start to doubt. Nobody's gonna. Sometimes I look at my producer. I'm like, do you have like a? Which I'm, I'm talking to her. Tapi sebenarnya, if I were to unmute, can do you have any interesting question? Cuma tu ah. Tapi in front of the guest, you would ask. Inda. Ah. Uh. Um. I would just look at her eyes. Tapi sebenarnya yang paham. Ah. Uh, okay. She's ask. Uh, I'm asking her to come up with something interesting. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm like. Yeah, like that, and oh, she understand. Okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah, there are some. I would say dua lah, I okay. guess. Yeah, mm. yeah. And both times I released that job, cause to me, I change. I know some podcaster they don't post kalau dry, dry. Mm. And then I think we don't do agreements. I don't. I haven't checked Same. yours. No, uh, it's not an agreement. It's not an agreement. It's so it's are there not. some people, the podcaster I know, in mm. the agreement, not all podcasts are. Release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have the document. We just never give it to our guests, lah. Mm-hmm. But for me, I still believe in value because mm. even though the the podcast might not get a lot of views, some people might still find it yeah. useful. Yeah, yeah, I believe that too. Yeah. So, and I still I still think it's beneficial for you to regularly post content anyway. So it yeah. doesn't matter, lah. It doesn't matter if it's not. Up to your standard. It's not a loss. It's not a huge loss. It's not a huge loss. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's the yeah. Yeah. What is the name? Lakshian lah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I we, am, we'll talk about it after. Yeah, this. yeah. I, I am very ato, but uh, I'm not that. Anila, <laughs> I'm not that. <laughs> oh my god! And then, okay, do you have any plans other than the podcast going forward, or is that for now? That's what you're doing. Um, because today I mentioned I, I went into the podcast world ato. Uh, and then, in the in the beginning, we mm. had that idea of in, in, incorporating all the things that I did mm. into the podcast. Yeah. 
but in the end we just stuck with the podcast anyway yes it's because for me i don't know about your setup time lah because okay. uh, this is uh is this apa your studio bukan your studio kan inda yeah yeah lah yeah. so um kalau my studio it's so easy mm. uh, even though now we're going through a bit of a makeover okay so that's why i have to go out of the my studio mm. So kalau kami di studio very easy sit down press record mm. that's it. Yeah, yeah yeah. So for me that's easy less setup time. Yeah. So macam the the less time it takes for you to create content the better. Yes. That's the most time you save lah. That's true. That's so for me podcast gives me that. Mm. That you know the pe pikir banyak. Yeah, When yeah, I do yeah. my other shows gila mic check. Oh my god yeah. Pre-production, pre-production itu gila. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. I'm not talking about you know oh, dada 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 untung. It's not that. It's mm. just that the you want to be productive, bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be productive, mm-hmm. and the other format has not given me me that lah. Be podcast like wow, you know, sit down, record, that's it. Yeah. And then like you just no, go. but that's true, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Even like, like you guys, you just set up the camera and that's it. You, there's not much things that you need to do compared to much other. Uh, moving sh- production yeah so uh for me going forward i would just one i would have more podcasts mm. so i already have one mm. tapi we only did one episode lah inshallah we'll do more mm. how frequent do you upload for your podcast twice a week wow twice guys that's dedication yeah uh twice a week we're planning to do four a week soon yeah damn yeah look the if you can cut off the time of pre-production yeah, post-production yeah, yeah, yeah. you can have more you can have output. more yeah that's true. i think i learned a lot from you know good mythical morning on youtube i've heard Yang of that but i don't watch it they do they i don't know about now mm. they release every day oh, so one of the tips they give you like is it. when you shoot chmane shoot as if you shoot live mm. so there's less thing to do post post yes so by doing that you would Just pump up more content. Yeah, yeah. Just don't overthink, lah. I guess don't don't overthink too much. That's true. Yeah. So the plans moving forward is having more podcasts. Satu, mm. dua is for people to uh, use my platform to release their own podcast. So I understand maybe for some people they might not be as lucky as you to have traction from the beginning. Okay. So they want someone to much um learn the. Uh, They want to have someone to teach them. Okay. They want to have someone to macam pinjamkan platform. Mm-hmm. I can do that. Like oh. they would just use my studio, and they would post under my under your channel. Under and, my channel. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's so kind of you. Yeah. Yeah. Because now I see my channel as uh, uh, penyorang rusak sudah. Because huh? there's so many things going on in the channel. Like I have so many contents. Okay. So I don't mind. Kalau dulu, I have one. Ani maybe bukan rezeki lah. Mm. We have one spots. We wanted to do spots podcast last year, and then there's this one company that willing to uh, sponsor us yeah. if we use my channel. Okay. I said no. Yeah, tapi at that time, you know, I don't know. I don't know about a lot of analytics. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I don't. I don't see where the and it was going. Oh, wow. But now I saw. I see where it is going. Mm. So I'm like, I'm okay with it lah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But we're not gonna be like. Menjilat balik uh, Engliru orang atau kan by asking lah. No no no. Yeah, But I'm yeah. just putting it for new creators lah. Maybe mm. they want to uh, macam buat podcast oh, tapi oh, in the, the tahu. Yeah. I think I can have I have room for three more. I can take three okay. more shows. That's good. Yeah. The reason why three more is because I already have four. Mm. When you mean four, any shows ka? Four shows. Okay. No, three, three. Sorry. Okay, yeah. So I have four more lah. Mm. So the goal is at least to post to post one per day. Day, yes. Yeah. Other than that, it's just too much lah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So three from my side. Anyone, sorry lah, kalau macam plug so nya. Anyone who wants oh, to, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Anyone who wants to get into the podcast scene, mm. but don't know, don't have the space, don't have the equipment apa. You can pitch your idea to me to lot. Yes. What the show is gonna be about? Mm. It cannot be the same like this because we have too many people. You gotta you gotta think outside the box, lah. There's a lot of podcast format. There's a lot of podcast niche mm. that haven't been touched in Brunei. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so easy if you know how. To, it's so easy again, if you know your way around, lah. So you can pitch your idea to me, lah. Reach out to me on IG, ka mana ka. Jangan lihat easy, lah. He is. It's easy for him. Tapi he's got he's got all the knowledge, wah. He's he's got all the trials and errors. He's got all the 
uh, background from his uh, 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 film apa kan so he knows his way around so even though macam no no, no I'm just saying yeah, yeah, yeah. no I'm know. just enjoying myself <laughs> <laughs> you're like <laughs> no because I don't want people to be like karang oh they have to know Taros oh wah uh, macam I don't want people to be like eh, discouraged oh wah uh, mm. macam nah, macam I don't want people to be like eh easy can do it I can do it too uh, I mean yes, but it's true though yeah tapi yeah. I would say you would you are the one person lah Bec- not because you're lucky hmm. but because you know your way around sudah okay. so it's easy for the algorithm to find you your audience lah uh-huh. that's not that may not be the case for new people true, so true. kadang discourage drunk kan yeah yeah no but yeah. i've been there i know yeah. I know yeah so yeah if you need someone to teach you how i maybe i'm open to it tapi you have to pitch your ideas lah to yes. me dulu yeah. if it's the same like oh you just going to be tempat curhat apa <laughs> you don't want another easy lah you want You want to be you. I'm dying here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this has been so entertaining. <sighs> And you know what? Kudo oh blessed ka. God. Oh my god. I that jam is rusak. <laughs> But okay, so basically this is going to be hell for you to edit. <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like this is going to be so enjoyable. I'm definitely going to laugh out loud. But yeah, to before we wrap things up, again, I want to thank you for spending the day with us. There's so much that I put in my... I didn't I know. even bother. I know. I didn't even bother. I know. I, even bother. I, know. I knew that goes, too. Yeah, I knew that too. That you've been yeah. an amazing guest. Yes, thank you again for sharing so much of your <laughs> life story. Oh my God. This has been an insane recording. Yeah. That's all we have for today. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't look at my watch, I'm like...